Hi, this is Susan Campfield with SueStampfield.com. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today I wanted to talk to you about a product that is going to be coming out in our new catalog, which starts on June 2nd. This product is called Blend Abilities, and they are alcohol-based markers um, that are perfect for blending and coloring. Let me zoom in a little bit on my card here. i show you um, how to use the Blend Abilities today and particularly the skin tone markers like I've done on this card. Sold in sets of three, so a little bit different than other brands of alcohol markers. Um, each package has a light, a medium, and a dark. So it makes the blending process very easy. You just decide what color you want to do and you grab your the box and um, go to it. So I'm going to go ahead and start by coloring this gal. This is from a new stamp set. It's called In This Together. And um, I'm going to start by doing her skin tone. So when we're using the Blendability markers, we want to use a different type of ink. We want to use a water-based ink. So you've seen me in the past use stays on Black a lot. For this, for the alcohol-based markers, we want to use a water-based ink. If I try to use this with stays on, it would bleed. And um, that's not what I'm looking for when I color. So I'm going to go with uh, this great black pad. Now this is a wonderful black for uh, many different things. And I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock here that is 4 inches by 2 inches. The Blendability markers have been specially formulated to work with our Whisper White cardstock. So you're going to want to stack up on the Whisper White. Um, I have not tried it with any other brand of paper because I only use our Stampin' Up! paper. I love our Whisper White. It has a great finish and it works really good with the blendabilities. So we're going to go ahead and grab our skin tone markers and this is the way that um, that I like to use the blendabilities. Now these markers come in a package of six so it's a little bit different than the regular colors that are in a three pack. Um, the blend, the skin tone markers come in a six I'm pack. I'm going to go ahead and open up. I'm going to start with my darker color. This is my favorite way to do it. So I'm going to open the blush and there are two tips on this marker similar to our regular Stampin' Write markers which are water-based watercolor markers. Our alcohol markers have a similar picture. You'll see the shape is different. The shape is square and that's to keep them from rolling off the table. Now when you store these, you're going to want to store them flat. We have two tips, so if you store them on one end, all your ink is going to be at one end and your other tip is going to be dry. So you want to store it flat so that you get the, um, you know, whichever side you use, you'll have good ink coverage. Now for my regular Stampin' Write markers, I have to admit I rarely use the fine point time fine point side, but I found with the blendabilities that I use the fine tip quite a bit more than I do with our Stampin' Write markers. It's fine, but it's not so fine that it takes forever to color. So um, I'm going to start by removing the cap. I will tell you the caps are very tight on this, and that's because of course alcohol dries out very easily in air, and so you want a really tight seal on your marker. Um, I have really weak hands. I have some arthritis in my hands, so I use... Um, this is just Rubbermaid Bumpy Shelf Liner, and I use that just to grip, um, to pull off the cap. Um, it's just a little easier for me. You can also use, if you have one of those jar um, jar grippies to open up the jars in your house, that would work as well. Uh, but if you have strong hands, you probably won't even notice it. Um, so I have my fine tip here, and I'm going to start with my blush. I'm going to do a little more zooming here so that you can see. Let's get her face in the shot. There we go. So I'm going to start by doing her cheeks. And I'm just going to make two circles. Don't worry about the harsh lines. We're going to be blending those out when we add the lighter color, hence the name Blendabilities. So now I'm going to go to my um, ivory marker here. And I'm going to stick with that fine tip because this is a very, um, it's, a, it's a rather small image. And I'm going to work in a circular motion that seems to work best um, all over her face and particularly on the cheeks where I put the the blush I want to blend that in so that it's not so stark and then I'm going to go on and color the rest of her body the one biggest difference that I have found with the um, alcohol based markers over our regular Stampin' Write markers that I'm used to using is that with, this, with the alcohol-based markers, there's no concern about the paper pilling. 
you can go, in fact, you want to go over and over um, the area that you're coloring. That paper is not going to peel. You're not going to get little flakes. Um, you can just keep coloring it over and over until you get the blending that you want. Now I'm ready to do her hair. So we're going to give her some highlights here. We're going to start with the bronze. And I'm going to go in and I'm just going to do some stripes of color throughout her hair. Not very much. I can always go in and add more of that darker if I want to. Um, but it's hard to take it away. So I've got that in there. The next color that I'm going to go to is actually the nude. And I'm going to pull the cap on my nude marker and I'm just going to go in a circular motion over that bronze color and I'm going to continually go over and over until it starts to blend. Can you see how we're losing our harsh lines? I'm going to zoom up just a little bit closer. Can't go too much more without it. Okay, so let me show you on this side of her hair. So I just keep working again in a circular motion. Now if you get a little bit on her face, don't worry about it. You can go back in with that ivory and blend that out a little bit. You can always add a little more blush if you want. But there is, I'm going to stop right there with her hair. That's how I would like that. Thank you so much for stopping by today. It was really fun to tell you about this new product that is coming out on June 2nd. I'm really excited and I think you will really enjoy using them. Watch for more training videos here or on my blog at suestanfield.com.